Hello everyone, Sakuya here, and welcome back to a Hearts of Iron 4 video. We are back with our Kaiser Redux A to Z gameplay, and, well, honestly, a lot of you were pointing out in previous videos something in the comments that I really needed to take note of, and that is that not only did I miss how a couple other things were previously named, such as when I messed up the whole thing with Ethiopia and Abyssinia and how that was out of order, but a number of you pointed out that things like in the case of the United States, though it begins with a U, is, well, not exactly true, because what ends up happening is that the United States almost inevitably is going to break out into a civil war every single time of which there are many many different factions that you can choose from within it and there is one that is the american union state something that i probably should have already played right now because of the a and also there's another one that is alaska now i'm not going to do all these back to back to back because if i did so then my god that would be really annoying if i did that when it reached you nor am i going to do all the things that are america in one go here early on but i will go ahead and do some of this now we're probably going to mix america and other things in between here based off the alphabet because again the whole thing is a bit of a mess but a mess well come on baby that's uh that, that that's just america where it's dealing with the clan syndicalists and a political crisis but to be fair honestly that last part just sounds like the normal america but without further ado let's go ahead and jump into things and see just how badly we can ruin everything for anyone who is unfamiliar with the kaiser redux mod who is watching this for the first time kaiser redux is the world in which germany won world war one but it has a lot more of the wacky crazy focuses versus the standard kaiserite america itself in terms of its focus tree has I think what like seven eight nine different political paths just on their own base that you could choose from with many many more different leaders and things associated with each one America easily has some of the craziest versatility of anything in this game but the process of getting to any of it is a horrible horribly painful process so without further ado we choose one of the only focuses that we're actually able to do at this point the war department expansion to get more army experience gain and try and get our research out of the way we start the game with 262 civilian factories but among that because of isolation and the other economic issues that we are facing yeah we um we we, we can only use like 20 of those and that's it plus we get huge negative modifiers to construction and everything because of the great depression and also because of the issues with um isolation and the black monday is going to make that way worse so there's no point in building anything except maybe some infrastructure because we're going to need to support this region for our plan we're going to put everything that we can on guns here right now not that it actually matters because we can't use all of our industry even if we have all of these things because the the modifiers and we have a grand army of five dudes and that is pretty much it yep this this is gonna be great let's dive into it everybody for anyone who is wondering what the state of america is at this time it is pretty bad essentially after the Welch Krieg, world war one america was not in a good place because a lot of the people that it had loaned a bunch of money to well they they lost and were then unable to actually pay anything that they needed in order to fuel the american roaring 20s so since the roaring 20s never happened that means that the great depression occurred very quickly and early and lasted for a much 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 longer amount of time with the entire country tearing itself apart politically and as all that is happening this allowed the berlin stock market to take precedent as the world's greatest market in comparison to what it would be in our timeline here for america so now with all of its citizens and political parties and different radical groups rising within the country particularly from extreme right-wing groups and also extreme socialist groups then um yeah 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 we are uh we're in a pretty bad situation if this uh, picture indicates anything to you here now. Voting rights and allegation council. Hey, we're actually getting some less consumer goods, which is great. That actually jumps up the amount of things that we have to produce. Not that it really matters here. Crime spree sweeps the nation. Uh, yeah, we don't have anything to spare at the moment. Screw it. We don't need stability. We're America. And unstable people with weapons are God's greatest gift to Earth. Eugene Talmadge flips up. Yeah, we're going to see a lot of different issues within our political system as different party and political members are going to flip sides or die or literally anything happen that could lead to significantly more trouble for us you can see all those political parties here because we have quite a lot of them and from all these different groups you have different paramilitary groups that are starting to raise up around the country well there goes the berlin market crash that sucks that's the army it sucks fourth anglo-afghan war that also sucks and the socialists are starting to try to take charge of things next step on here we are hit by the great depression the thing that we have to do is reintroduce the garner wagner bill that no one wants to agree on because it's a terrible compromise but it's something that needs to be done by the political parties in order to be a 
able to get the country back on track. Maybe. Black Monday hits America. That sucks. National Unity Agreement. A coalition or endorse the agreement. No, we don't want a coalition. We can do just fine on our own. We're basically going to do everything that we possibly can to weaken the other political parties and strengthen the America First Party because this is the state that would go on to form the American Union state. I say state, the, the party that would go on to form it. That's what we're going to need to prioritize. Charles Coughlin's radio broadcast. Uh, yeah, we want to shut him down in order to boost the support of authoritarian democracy because that's what we want. Long and Haywood demand changes. Yep, those are who we want to support. And Black Monday hits, which means that everything that we were building, um, well, we now can't build anything. We're, we're, we're done. It's, it's over. Back it up, everybody. The American economy is dead. Republican nomination, social market liberalism. We're going to give it the thing that is weaker because we don't want anything strong for any other political party other than the one that we want to prioritize because we're more than likely going to break out into a horrible civil war. Huey Long, this is the guy. This is the guy that we want to support. Yes, he is the guy who is more like the authoritarian democratic figure, the guy who wants to utilize democracy, but in a very authoritarian way in order to, well, force change and improve people's lives at the cost, perhaps, of a number of their freedom, to be fair. All right, the Garner Wagner bill passes a victory for us all. That's going to lessen the effects of Black Monday so that we can do at least a little bit more, I think. Well, not exactly, but it's okay. The Ohio scandal denounced these madmen. It's not my place to comment. Yeah, we want to weaken market liberalism. These damn corrupt people. Well, let's first go down the Hawking plan and see what we can do here. It will boost market liberalism, but we, we, we have to do it. It's fine. The idea behind this is that they're looking for a way to try and pay for the bill because none of the political parties are happy with it and whether or not it passes, well, I mean, it did pass, but whether or not it does well is entirely dependent on how the senators react to everything. Panama pressures Costa Rica. Uh, no, 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 no. Panama, Panama, you better leave them the hell alone. I'm not broken yet. Mayday riots, SPA were at fault. Do we, uh, no, no, we don't want anything that is going to strengthen the socialists. Nope, the police were at fault. Guys, just blame the police. It's all right. We don't want to strengthen the socialists. Giving them any kind of ammunition is bad in this scenario. All right, Hawking plan. Where are we going to base it? Because this is going to support our efforts in Minneapolis. That's going to strengthen the America First Party, but this would strengthen the socialists. That's what decides it. All right, well, Minneapolis and Panama backs down. So we are moving along quite cleanly. Remember what I said about that whole thing about radicalization? Yeah, buddy, it's only, only going to get worse from here. God dang it. The great heat wave of 36. Yep, the farmers are now suffering too. All the crops across the Midwest are dying and everything is tearing itself apart. Wait, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. New England is looking at breaking away. You know, lovely stuff. I apologize if over any of this, I'm skipping too much of the detail of what it is we see. I'm going to explain what each thing does, but if I try to read every single part of everything that you see in here, we would be here for hours. And I don't think nearly as many people have the time for all that for a video. Yep, everything is burning, but we celebrate 4th of July. Man, I really, I feel like I should have released an episode of this a couple days ago, actually on 4th of July. That would have been nice. But you know what? We can bond here now, everybody. All right, shipyard phoning team, give contract new York City, socialist loses power, America first, greatly gains power. Yep, yep, that's what we want to do. And then talk to Canada about maybe repaying your debt. Probably not, probably not going to happen. I mean, our country doesn't exactly know anything about paying off debt right now, but I'll keep, I'll, I'll be honest with that. Fighting in Arkansas between the AFP Minutemen and the old Democratic White League. Oh God, oh God. Um, well, clearly when we want to get rid of the Klan. Yeah, definitely. We don't want to strengthen them up very much. MacArthur speaks to Hoover about a plan to save the country. Pfft. No, 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 no. Denied. Denied. You don't need to do anything, MacArthur. Let it run its course. Canada refuses to pay its debts. Naturally, I would anticipate that to happen. So you know what? Screw you. The Smoot Holly Tariff Act. We're going to place some tariffs on you, Canada. Deal with it. You're going to be paying your debts whether you like it or not. Which actually, from this is probably going to make the entire country spiral because we know historically that what happens when you slap on tariffs onto things that it ends up hurting all the economies, pretty much. Well, I say that, but my own country is tearing itself apart. So really, what do I care? Great heat wave is over. Yay, I'm only at minus 38% stability. Violence between the radicals. That's uh, just lovely. And now that that's pretty much it. I could work on the Navy or other parts down here, but really none of that stuff is actually necessary. I, I, I can't really do anything else for my focus street. So now I just have to sit and wait for the civil war to eventually happen and tear us all apart. Yay. Campaign hardens the militia lines. War is coming, people. Get ready. I say that, but it's probably not going to happen for at least a little bit because we're playing baseball in the World Series. Representatives are retiring. That means it's going to set the stage for new men to rise to power, which is not going to be great. Wait, a liberal victory in Canada? Really? Really? Are they? What? They're going market liberal. They're not going like for 
standard social conservative or even monarchist. What? Also, that is an awesome portrait. I am loving this. What? Absolutely dapper. Mustafa Kemal seizing power in Turkey, and now it is time for the 1936 presidential election. So, depending on what it is that you've been choosing over the course of this game, you really want to try and plan it ahead of time, even if a lot of the buttons seem to really make no sense with, a, with like at least half of this. So now, after looking at everything, we get to decide who it is that won the election, and it tells you what they belong to. In this case, we are going to say that it is Huey Long of the America First Party, because that's the one that we've been supporting, and besides the base Republican Party, it has the largest percentage of support among any of the groups, and that's what we want, because that is the American Union state, so by God, Huey Long and America First, they're going to do it. Electors defy the majority. No, 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 they back down. The AFP is going to be given a stranglehold over Texas. Easy. He wins the popular vote because... He's our man. SPA contest election result. Nope, socialists, deal with it. I don't care about you. You probably won't exist long enough for me to care in the first place anyway. Hoover criticizes the president. Pfft, nah, 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 nah. He doesn't matter anymore. Hoover, you're a vacuum. You suck. Deal with it. <laughs> you see what I did there? Like, like a Hoover? Yeah. A New Year's Day strike. No, people, for the love of God, get back to work. We're already not producing anything. We're producing four guns a week in our entire country. That is the most un-American thing I have ever seen in my life, damn it. Cuba asks to buy aircraft. Yeah, of course. Of course you can. Yes, please. Because that means I'm actually able to build things. Long's inaugural address. Yes, he becomes the new American president and is inaugural which gives us the mission to act quickly where we have to do something in order to affect one of the political parties on here. President Long, complete that. Let that pass a day. We are good. Now, next step, we get to choose immediately. What do we focus on? This is going to be the big one that we're going to be able to do the most damage to. Well, we want to fight the anarchists because we want to weaken the socialists as much as possible because the land that they're going to control is going to have a lot of the factories. So if we can reduce their control, this means that we'll be able to take over more of the territory that has a lot of factories and then seize it from them. I think. I might be entirely wrong about this. Executive Order 7037, a farm aid bill. That's right. Support the farmers. Support the people. Every man a king. Alaska Territory Guard created. Yep, yep. Alaska is looking at independence, but we don't want them to. Also, wait, I think this is cool. See this? Huey Long, Huey Long. Yeah, looking all dapper there. He could look even more dapper. How? By changing his outfit. Barbershop hat and sunglasses. Look at this. Look at this dude. Look how happy he is. A new hope for Alaska. No, no, no. See, see, this is going to give us the option. We could actually separate and play as Alaska, but that's not what we're going to do here now because we never did anything to potentially support them and I should have done that otherwise if we were going to be doing that. I will have to go back eventually and play Alaska, but no, we're going to say that it's loyal to America because we want to continue to keep it in the fold. So next step is to address the masters of finance and start boosting ourselves. Assembling the cabinet? No, we only need the AFP. We want to support ourselves as much as possible. We, we, don't, we don't need any of these other democratic or elected officials. We're just going to, we're just going to stack it with our own guys. See, look, they don't want to share the wealth and actually help people. Pfft. So you know what? We're going to forcefully deal with them then by busting up all of their trust. They can't do shit. Yeah, I say that. And of course, everyone is then going to immediately declare that Huey Long is a traitor. And this is where we go into the fun. Yup. See the long order. Long has declared that all attempts to talk to or frighten the financial elite to be a failure and has issued the executive order that will implement a one-time confiscation of wealth above $50 million, declaring that the amount of capital these self-serving businessmen have is widely ir or wildly irresponsible, a threat to the Republic, and it makes it impossible to pass any legislation through Congress. Yet, yeah, naturally, Congress is very pissed off, and, um, yeah, it's going to destabilize the world, but it's going to make America very, very popular, or at least the America first policy. Minutemen battling the old Democrats. Wonderful. Wait, no, no. I just completed that focus. President Long declares the American Union state. MacArthur goes and removes me? No, no, no. See, we, we're the American Union state. We're the middle of everything. So we're going to stand by the country and we're playing as the American Union state. That's right. Look at this sick flag. Here we are. Huey Long. We got this. Oh my God. What is this? Oh, oh, I'm seeing all the different alternate paths that could have happened here historically. If you go down the thing, the thing with the, the thing with the white hood. Uh, it's like super hyper religious aggressive Christian. Oh my god, that looks hilarious and awful, but also hilarious. What? Okay, we're definitely doing that in here in the future. Um, 
But no, the new Washington, can we, can we do anything? Do we have any options to do anything over here? Form a, from a militia to a fighting force. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go ahead and get all this started, I think, before we have to choose anything else. At the same time, we need to start raising some militia. We'll choose the ones that have the most units. It's going to take 12 days, and we're going to need to try to recruit as many of these soldiers as possible, as quickly as possible. Our factories, we only have six. Wow. Okay, that's actually really not good. Um, hmm. At least we managed to keep, well, Oh, actually, no, we do not have a lot of our civilian factories either. That is not good. Um, okay, well, we built up a lot of our infrastructure, so we're going to start building this up here now. The more mills that we get, the better we are going to need that, and we are also going to need to start splitting up our troops here to figure this out. Okay, time to get things sorted here once again, because we've lost all political power and now have to do everything over since we, we, we again, we don't have any army experience. We lost everything. Uh, okay, this, this should be fun. Let's go ahead and put all of our troops on either side and see what happens. Oh, yep. See, look, there goes the Ameri Constitutional American Republic. That's a thing. Wow. Okay. Damn, I love that cigar. You look like a grizzled man. The old regulars, the regular democratic organization, Louisiana political machine for conservative seed part of Louisiana or investigate them. Um, no, we're going to investigate them. What did no, 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 no. We're maintaining all this. The Banner Republic. Oh, okay. We got a choice. The swooping eagle design, the AFP party flag, classic blue version of the sword. I like the Coast Guard inspired. Show me more designs. Wait, I can do more? Louisiana Red Star, the solitaire design. What about the old flag of Louisiana from 1861? Just keep, now nah, keep the sword and torch. I like it. Just, let's just do that. Federal resistance. Okay, we're facing a lot of issues here. I, meanwhile, I'm just trying to figure out what flag to use. The Klan is becoming even worse. The socialists are becoming even worse. Yup, yup. This this is the state of, uh, of what we can see here so far. And now this is going to allow us to start recruiting some militia. So we're going to need to prepare this. Combat attack red guard cell. Socialist resistance will be damaged. Weed out the clan. Oh, I can do all this stuff. Awesome. It's a standoff in America, people. Wait, the PSA offers peace. The Pacific States of America has recognized that we are the victors of the 36th election. Therefore, they're willing to ally us, but many of the AFP are annoyed about their questionable loyalty, however, an apparent hypocrisy and their reluctance to join the longest cause while claiming to support democracy. Well, if they're not going to support us, then no, they should join us outright them. Texas Devils? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely take down any clan members inside of my nation. Destroy them. Building a loyal navy? We want cruisers. And the syndicalists are bombing my territory. Okay, great. Talk down the CSA. No, 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 no. We are not dealing with the socialists. I'm not sending people over there in order to be able to deal with them. No, no guys, I'm going to be fine. I'm going to be fine. I have the American, the American spirit on my side. They're an enemy as well. Minneapolis syndicalists strike. No, 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 no. Really? Really? Bro, just pay them off. Just, I don't care. We're just going to keep on recruiting these militia units as we get them, and we're going to throw them on the border with all of our potential enemies. Pendergast machine, hurt our stability, get more war support, political power, manpower. No, 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 no. Kansas City ain't big enough for the two of us. Authoritarian democracy it is, boy. Chief of staff, do we go artillery? Wait, no, this is the same thing. School defense, max entrenchment, land forts, uh, no, land night attack. Oh, wait, night attack, a night attack theorist? I like the idea, but but also artillery, big booms. This is America. We only support the big booms. We're boomers, if you will. Ah, oh, by the way, I also have a boomer shirt in my store, so you should check that out. Bonnie and Clyde gang, send the Texas Rangers. Hunt him down. Our chief of army, uh, guns and butter doctrine, elastic defense, commando. No, 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 no. What we want, oh God, that land night attack bonus. That's actually really strong. But organization and supply consumption just means more troops. So I'm going to go ahead and take that. But night attack bonuses? Oh, that's really big. If you are able to get 15% bonus attack literally half the time, that's, that's really good. Pendergast discredits long. Pendergast who? <laughs> that guy. Southern Tenant Farmers Union, a left-wing bureau for tenant farmers. Uh, mm, mm, no, no. Authoritarian democracy. Only option. And now we're finally able to get partial mobilization, which means more stuff being built. We're going to actually be able to get some uh, guns out of the way here, which actually, by the way, I should go ahead and recruit some units. ASU militia, militia troops, so hold ASU infantry, but this also has artillery. I think this is what we're going to want. Clan growth. No, I don't want them. And the Black Legion's resistance 
resistance grows. Um, okay, great. Well, wait, nope, there it goes. American Union State declares war on Pacific States. Um, everything is tearing itself apart. Here it goes, buddies. And hey, German Empire wants to send me volunteers? Yes! Okay, since war's broken out immediately and there are lots of enemies around us, the first thing that we're going to need to do is, again, we had to hold the line around here. It's very, very dangerous. So we're going to try and take out one of these sides as quick as we can. It's going to be very bad, but this is why we have split our forces into three relatively equal parts to be able to maintain this entire area. Now, the big thing that we're going to do is we're going to utilize these two motorized divisions here to hopefully be able to go around and quickly maneuver around the enemy and take them out. They're coming in here with two different units of attack. We don't really want to deal with them there. So we're going to send them in and around and hopefully, hopefully that knocks them out. If we can destroy any number of their units, small as though they may be, we will be able to potentially hold out. What sucks though, is that on all sides, there's enemies and no one wants to really make the first move, except this fucker apparently. All right. And other cool thing that we're going to be able to do is because we're in the civil war, we can get bonuses towards attacking a specific front. As soon as I actually have command and political power to do so, I, I can't do that quite yet. So, all right, let the civil war begin. American civil war starts. Let's let's go ahead and get this going then all right professionalization of the Minutemen. it's time to go ahead and get all this going we're simultaneously going to go ahead and start an attack on denver because if we can seize the capital here that should actually knock out a huge chunk of their support let's go ahead and go ahead and get that done and lots of little micro are they attacking us over here no we will have to try and hold the line and reinforce this area over here as much as we can all right you then click choco brigade arrives hey getting some more equipment Let's go ahead and do this. They're not attacking us over on the side yet, nor is it very valuable. So we probably want to shore this up. Yep, we're going to go ahead and attach some more units. Just probably take out the West first. All right, Guangzhou, New England declares independence. It's as if it was 1776 all over again. Yeah, no, we're, we're not playing New England, though that's another one that apparently we're going to play and grow. There we go, perfect. Truck move in, take them out. We're going to try and take them out as much as we can. We have them encircled. Shoot, okay, they moved up one of their units here too. All right, if we can go ahead and wipe those out, that will be good they're not attacking us on this side yet we have time to prepare oh shoot actually i never even prepared any of this in the first place for plans crap i'm an idiot syndicalist bombing no stop damaging my stuff you freaking socialists alaska pledges allegiance to the pacific states hey hey screw you alaska i thought we had something special okay as long as we don't move and let them fight see yep they're beginning to throw themselves at me so that's happening finland yes finland send me some volunteers thank you very much i deep appreciate this yes okay okay that knocks them out excellent excellent which means that we have these guys surrounded and can thus attack on all sides wait no 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 all right, quick, they're attacking on here. Sends over some additional units to support the line. And now we need more militia units. Uh, what's the most? Arkansas. And we're pushing the Federalist Front right now. Ah, ha ha, successful investigation of the Pendergast machine. Yeah, you thought that you could steal my people. No, nope, you had tax evasion. And that's not what happens here. We need to support all of our people. Yes, but okay, that's that group wiped, which is excellent. All right, we're gonna wipe out this group. This one is here, which we can then move down into El Paso, which is going to allow us to take this one one out and the more of these units that we move the better even if we start to lose a little bit of territory ukraine ukraine sending me support thank you that means the world to me buddy brazilian volunteers and equipment hey we actually have a good amount of forces here so far we're, we're building it up support the black belt the cars apparently having trouble containing the black belt during the war leading to requests from local rebels especially radicals to aid them in their efforts well maybe price who have damaged their control of the region send fun um sure why not yeah I'll, I'll send them some stuff we want to weaken western command even as we're strengthening ourselves here Kelly pledges allegiance to long more loyalists are always wait use silver legions for oh oh uh 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 well here's the kind of problem uh, i don't exactly want the silver legion in this scenario uh <laughs> uh no no he'll have to make two we, we don't want that no we don't need smith and his thugs we don't need any of this stuff we're doing just fine with the guys that we have all right it may be the harder path but it's the righteous american union path all right as we just snake our way in here take over other little minor territories wipe them out piece by piece this is stop bombing my damn factories i'm begging you you freaking socialist this is the reason why no one likes you okay they got those wrapped around these guys are holding yep these guys are holding pretty nicely and simultaneously we are able to stop over on this side and i'm just getting volunteers so many people funneling in through louisiana thank you 
Let's see, American Air Force. No, we don't want any of that. We need to start, just continue to build up our, let's see, there's still not any kind of focus tree that we can really do over here. We just need to continue to support our military. So I guess that's all we can do. Let's just keep on going. Oh, there goes Paraguay declaring on Argentina. How fun. Oh, hey, there, there's a troop surrounded. Awesome. The Vatican offers military aid. Yeah, what? Texas has a significant Catholic population. Louisiana has Catholic sympathies as well, making it reasonable to offer. Um, um, uh, it could be Roman Catholic intervention. Could be worrisome. You know, no, 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 no. I will, I will take the Catholic weapons. That sounds awesome. I really hope to God that's not a mistake. What the hell? The Vatican Vanguard leads an uprising in Baltimore. Oh my God. Wait, 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 wait. There is a Catholic force in Baltimore. <laughs> The Legion of Mary Immaculate. What? These are mine, right? They're my troops? Dude, I don't even know what's happening there. I, I'm so confused. All right, just continue to hold out. We are trying to isolate as many targets here as we can. Philip Costa Caro seems leadership of the Baltimore Uprising. We couldn't ask for a more holy American patriot. Oh my Lord, what? We're getting so much ammunition. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. They're knocked out. That it means we have this eliminated. We are moving really well in here, like very, very rapidly. All right, superior firepower, increased attack. That's all we want, baby. Fourth of July. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, uh, people are very hostile, right, uh, this time around. Let's see, Western Command Center is almost dead. We just gotta move in. I don't know if this is actually entertaining gameplay at all, but it's, it's wild, I'll tell you that much. Okay, there's another one surrounded. Excellent. Are we holding out here? Okay, we are holding out here, but it looks like we're starting to take a little bit of damage from the forces that are attacking us. But, 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 we received so much equipment that we are cranking it all out. So many units are being produced. We should be able to flood the line here pretty soon. In fact, actually, what am I saying? Technically speaking, I could flood the line like right now. It would only be half trained, but that would still be potentially worth it. All right, let's send all the forces up. Uh, how many trucks do I have? Am I producing a good amount of trucks? I'm gonna need more trucks. We're gonna need way more to keep our soldiers supplied for what we have. Sweet, wait, sweet. Sweden wants to send me volunteers now. Yes, I'll take that. Even as the rest of the world tears itself apart, we have more bigger, bigger, bigger. I don't know what I'm saying. We have things to do. What do you mean election demands? What do you mean? It's 1937. There's no election demands that I have to deal with. All right, just gather the equipment, raid the armories, steal as much as you can. Just push forward. All right, they won't exactly be able to do much here because even though we're losing quite a bit of equipment, it's all right because we can just continuously push in through here. If we take Tucson out, I'm pretty sure that that means that everything is going to fall for the enemy. That and Santa Fe. You know what I mean? You wait. United Mexican States declares war on the Pacific States. Oh, buddy, buddy, buddy. <laughs> They're going to be distracted so much. All right, we just hold the line over on this side, prioritize the West. We got this. The mirror should say lip service to our left wing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure, promise them more. I don't give a shit. It's just a campaign promise. In politics, that doesn't actually matter, you know? The second great migration. What? Large numbers of black Americans are fleeing to the north and west. The total is likely numbering at least a million with many seeking to settle in our territory due to its obvious proximity. Okay, that there could be some issues. No, 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 no. Let them in, let them in. I know it can cause some issues, but manpower and stability. Wait, no, let them in. Oh, wait, let them in, but they can't vote. That's ah, fine. Increase the, the the strength of the populace a little bit. It's okay. We'll be able to do this quickly enough, I think. Brazil, Brazil, send me some volunteers. Thank you. All right, there goes Phoenix. Come on, come on, come on. That should knock it out. Yes, Western Command Center capitulated. That means right there, we can go ahead and knock out the majority of their troops. And then we will need to realign our defenses afterwards to get things fixed. There we go destroy them as much as we can get delay earn our organization they're not attacking us no they're actually significantly weaker on the side okay i'm sure the enemy is building up their forces over there and they're waiting to be able to strike us which is why it's good that we're clearing out this side as quick as we can ndw the clan on life support yeah we're destroying the clan that's right baby paraguay gone oh boy oh and push against the federals is done but it's all right because we have done a really good job over here black troop debate we need black troops we cannot allow it right-wing populists uh we can't allow it no black troops right now it's perfectly fine not yet because i don't want to balance the left wing and make it too strong so we're going to kind of play the middle ground here like you can vote you can come in here but i don't want you fighting in the army i'm sorry normally i would but i don't want to see another revolution and i don't know what's going to happen in this game don't hate me for this guys sound truck propaganda fourth balkan war that's breaking out there all right and how's mexico doing oh wow they're doing a uh, pretty 
pretty pretty well, I guess. Formation of the Christian party. Yes, of course. They will do more harm than good. No, no, we don't want Christian forces right now. In the future, maybe, but not now. Are they just spawning more divisions in? How? Order restored in New Mexico. State is now core. Awesome. We have seized basically everything over here, actually. All right, all right, all right. Let's go ahead and prepare, get all these troops set up. It's also hilarious that after building a port here in Baltimore, I basically have a spot that forces the enemy to wash me on all sides and it's just a thorn in their side they can't move on because these guys are uh, pretty strong elites like they are going to hold if anything attacks them meanwhile my guys are doing a pretty decent job on this side holding as well silver legion grows no i don't want that federalist bo god dang it we should outnumber them right 13 to 47 yeah we definitely outnumber them long associate disappears uh wh what I, what, what, what do you mean? What happened? Oh, you know what? That's it. That's it. We're going to send our trucks and we're going to see if we can swoop in through the side. We're basically going to start a constant attack against enemy forces. We outnumber them very heavily. So if we grind against them, they won't actually be able to maneuver or do anything, I think. First elections for the new union. Hui Long and the AFP. Yeah, the only option. All right, we're going to go ahead and assign some engineers for some increased defense because we are going to need that. But it will allow us to support things a little bit further. Ooh. I was not anticipating bleeding out all of my troops there. All right, that was not part of the plan. I just probably wrecked those. Okay, I stopped paying attention. It was not good. Micro is really important here, people, and I've kind of forgotten that, it seems. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Slowly making progress. Slowly making progress. Okay, nope, nope, nope. We're not breaking. Federal, stop bombing me. Seriously. Now I have to push the Pacific front to try and get all this. Continuously having to weed out all these forces here. Dear God. All right, ports of Texas. That is done, and I cannot do anything else over here. I guess formation of the American Air Force then is all that we can really do as we try to settle this. Oh shoot, they're starting to push into some of my territory over here around Louisiana. Crap. Ooh, they are starting to try to push me in the north. It's okay, it's okay. We're gonna get all the stuff down here in the south. And we've taken Salt Lake City, or at least we're about to. So that's gonna be fine here. There we go. A couple more. Move in to wipe so God dang it, Syndicalist, stop bombing me. We just need to hold along this side. It's getting more difficult. Increase our defense try and last a little bit longer come on you all can do it let's see parsons plan potter i don't even know what any of this does long range no 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 close air we want to be able to destroy as much of the stuff on the ground as we can actually wait smiling jake oh oh hold on hold on offensive plan division organization armor defense armor license person light armor training light combat mobile warfare mobile warfare it never gave me that option are you kidding me well i guess we're it never told me what they were each going to be for well i, I, I should have looked ahead i'm an idiot okay well you know what smiling jake we're gonna make great tanks and we're still going down superior firepower all right it is what it is all right fuck it let's go launch the attacks syndicalist bombing no stop we're just sending our cavalry behind the enemy lines to screw with them okay we're just trying our best to screw with the enemy are we holding out here yes we are okay good 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 continue to hold please for the love of god stop i have been driving you out the entire time and it's still not working Whew, federalist bombing okay it's getting worse actually up there we're holding out down here in the south but the cons uh, the, 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 the syndicalists are have a lot like i may outnumber them but probably not by much as they're building in the east maybe i should have actually focused on east first because that's where actually the significantly more valuable land was you know i never said that i was the smartest guy when doing this i could have held off on that side i'm sure it's all right we're just gonna snake our way in here oof oh 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 those forces are starting to drive me back i i don't really appreciate it over here i don't i don't i don't like it all right well uh, come on come on come on it's a no 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 they're launching strikes against us big strikes oh crap 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 the syndicalists are on the move i should have focused on that side and not the freaking pacific why did I waste all my ammunition fighting in the freaking mountains? Don't look at me like that, Gabby. It's fine. Ooh, whoa. New tank design. Oh my god, that is that that is awesome. Oh, oh, baby, this could be great for the future. Okay, Federalist bombing. Stop it. The Constitutional. Okay, uh, yeah, the Constitutionalists. We're going to do that because we're going to increase our attack because we want them to stop being able to hurt us. Please, for the love of God, stop hurting us. Okay, but yep, we are holding out. We are holding out. How many have you lost? We've lost 140,000. We have actually, you know, we've, we've lost quite a bit here too. It's okay. As long as we continuously keep on holding out, we'll be okay. Fall of Sacramento. Yes. All right, a better tank. Uh, I could 
could probably, I probably shouldn't have done that. Oh my God. No, 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 no. That's a lot of red. That's a lot of red. I don't like red. I especially don't like what the socialists are doing up there on that side. This is not good. Cuba joins the Reich's pocked. I don't care. Oh no, no, damn it. I didn't realize San Francisco wasn't clear. Okay, we need to get up here. There's Eureka. Oh, Seattle's the capital now. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, I'm sure the... Oh my God. No, 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 no. They're pushing us. They're really, really pushing us now. Crap. I feel like this entire game now for the last, like, I don't know how long it's been, like 15, 20 minutes in this video or whenever I'm making, it's just me going, ah, crap, 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 crap. Because that's how I feel right now. Panicking, trying to get this done because I make horrible life decision. All right, even more going on. Come on, Pacific States, they're 51%. Where are the rest of their cities? The Saudi money war okay let's move on artillery research yeah yeah rapid construction yeah we need to build them quickly dutch revolution oh come on why can i not take san francisco okay you know what you know what stop 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 just heal yourself i said oh wait no that's not my guys okay all right all right all right, all right. i understand i understand i'm just an idiot i'm just an idiot it's perfectly fine are you moving off of, you're moving off of seattle hold up hold up no 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 i'm gonna attack you so that i can move in here and take this push the pacific front come on we are almost there pacific states yes oh my god oh my god thank god okay all right all right all right select all seize the navy boom oh my god we did it we did it we did it we cleared that entire section american union state back in it all right now between the two of these who's the bigger threat combine oh definitely the syndicalist yep 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 wait no wait but they have more factories Ooh, probably a bunch of shod infantry which is why they're not pushing me as much okay all right redistribute the forces Come on. All right, there's rapid construction, maneuver exercises. There we go. Get even more stuff done. I could have used this mobility way more so on the open plains than anything else. There we go. Reorganize it. Now we have an actual front line on this. Constitutional states? Oh, you're in for it. You are in for it. God damn it. Even more syndicalist bombing. You all suck. Like, you really suck a lot, okay? Now it's my turn to counterattack. There we go. Keep on moving in. The syndicalist may be dangerous, but these guys take way more priority i think in fact actually wait we're doing really good on troop count hold on, hold on hold on let's get 10 more divisions of that out for the july yep here we go we're going for it for the july 1938 the world is burning but i don't care all right let's see push against the federal front no no that's not gonna work syndicalist well they're doing some damage so you know what push the syndicalist it's fine do some extra damage against them let it happen we'll just take out some more troops fuck it launch the attack let's go damn it why can i not cross this would you all do some freaking damage already Break through. Come on. This is taking forever, man. Oh my god, this is taking forever. Am I burning? I'm not exactly burning through my equipment, but I'm um, we're 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 holding, but not it's not the best. Whoa, did we finally have a breakthrough? We did. We did. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, we finally had a breakthrough. Yes! Wait, what do you mean? Nordic Federation declared war. What is the Nordic Federation? What is what is that? New England? What the fuck? No, 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 they're allied with Canada. No! Are you serious? Are are you serious? Okay, all these divisions we had, panic release them. Panic release them right now. Son of a Okay, 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 okay. Where's where's my other navy? All right, I, I have a navy here. Where's my other navy? Took that one over on the other side. So you are gonna stop a naval invasion from occurring over, over here. Okay, what we're just gonna try and do is see if we can clean up through this as quick as we can because they're gonna start invading me, I'm sure, and we have got to stick troops on the border because they're gonna come after me. I know it. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, move on in. We're, we're almost to Atlanta. Wait, fall of Atlanta. Oh. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. We don't even need to go after these troops. Let's use our trucks to skate around them. Federalist retreat. Hey, hey, okay, okay. We're starting to do it. Get more militia. Push on the federal front. Yep, I think that we'll be able to hold. Everything else in the world is tearing itself apart, but, 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 th wait, hold on. They're not coming after me. Wait, oh, Nord may have declared on me, but they haven't called Canada in. Okay, well, we should be able to protect ourselves at least to a degree then. Holy crap, man, I've lost 400,000 troops. The Great Japanese War declared war on Vietnam. Okay, 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 we're making some progress into here. Louisville is the capital. Nordic Federation constitute. Wait, 
they're about to fall. <gasps> they're about to fall to the syndicalists. All right, Republicans, weak weak, random friend, random. Uh, the syndicalists are starting to push me here in the north. For the love of God, I really, really hope that the <laughs> they don't declare on me. Oh, come on. Oh my God, they're just throwing themselves away at me. How many of them are going to die for this? The answer's probably a lot. Okay, boys, it's time to sweep in through Florida. Order restored to Mississippi. Yes, that means that my population is growing up. Not growing up, going up, going up. I'm actually getting the cores back that I need. All right, that means it's time to push. Let's go. One final push to Louisville. Wait, fall of Chicago. Is that one of mine? Oh, wait, no, no, no. No, that was the syndicalist stronghold. Okay, I'm just saying now, with the amount of time that this has taken, the amount of sheer micro and bullshit, you all better be liking this video right now, because I swear to God, if I have to do like six more of this exact same setup, but with different factions, I might just destroy my own brain. Fall of Boston. No, 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 no. Were those my divisions? <gasps> no, my Bostonian divisions were finally wiped. <laughs> Nordic Federation. Oh, right, right. Well, um, that means the syndicalists have less forces that they have to worry about. Come on, if we just take Louisville, it should fall. Order restored to Nevada. Yes, but I'm bleeding through my manpower. Almost 700,000. Throwing them away at the enemy here. The syndicalists are slowly kind of pushing into my territory, but damn it, I'm going to win. All sauce ultimatum. That happens. God, we, are, we have no manpower left. How? Come on, push. Push against the nationalists. Let's go. Come on, 95. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Yes. Holy shit. Finally. There we go. There we go. There we go. Now all that's left are the syndicalists. Well, also the federal government here, but that's, that's a completely different thing. They never joined in on the war. Wait a minute. That means all these units I've had positioned here for the entire time were pointless. Are you shitting me? Oh, I've had all these troops positioned on the Canadian border for nothing. Nothing, I tell you. Okay, but problem is I can't service by requirement. I can't do anything until I get more men in the field. We're gonna have to wait to replenish our troops. All right, time to push the syndicalist front. You know what? Let's do it. Order stored in Illinois. We are getting our, our cores back. There we go. There's the entire syndicalist Northern army caught. All we had to do was send every available man, woman, and child in the country to the front line. And you know what? It solved all of our issues. Okay, Africa. I don't care if you're getting free. All right. I'm wiping out the syndicalists in Detroit. Come on. Come on. We're pushing in. I am sacrificing so many lives here. I do not care. I don't care. We've broken through. It's happening. The syndicalists are falling. There they go. The syndicalists fall with the fall of New York City. Oh my God. There it is. All that is left, the federal government. Somehow, among all things, the federal government is the last thing to survive, which is which is actually kind of amusing that considering that I literally was the person that was elected in the first place. It's Daddy Huey. Either way, it doesn't matter. There goes Washington, 4th of July, and it's gone. It's gone. The United States of America capitulated. Everything taken. The Navy, the, the armies, the, the land, the, everything. It's over. The American Union state reigns supreme. Happy 4th of July uh, on the 6th. That was three straight up continuous years of conflict for that. Oh my God. Millions died too. <laughs> oh God. Oh, and with that, the American Civil War is fully over. America is united. Yes, we are the United States now forever or no. The American Union state is America. Yeah, no, no, we're, we're fine stability wise. We are the American Union state. The real America still stands. Huey Long and his allies have triumphed over their enemies with this victory. We can now celebrate a new era of peace, but there's a lot of rebuilding to do, which apparently, apparently then goes and destroys my economy again. So, okay, it's time to rebuild the country and fix everything. We are actually at this point going to become the big baddies that whoever survives over here in the war, I mean, I guess goodies, we're going to become the force that could de decide the great end game, whatever happens based off the war over here. Actually, France is invading into Germany. So, oh, damn. Yep. It's the end of the American Civil War. And now we have a series of other things that we will need to do. Oh, my my God, wow, we have so many bonuses by the end for this. So let's go ahead and get this done then. Got Civil War depressed, as though we weren't already horribly depressed anyway. Birth of the American Holy League. At the end of the Second Civil War, the papal volunteers seeing a surge of popularity in their role and consolidating, they begin an effort to reorganize themselves to better continue to aid the American people the post-war era. Uh, um, uh, this could turn into some issues potentially, I don't know. 
But all hail the Kingfish. Capital of America, still Washington, D.C. That's fine. The American Legion appointment. Authoritarian democracy all the way. Holy America leads AIDS and reconstruction. Thank you. Thank you, my brothers, my Catholic Christian brothers. Thank you. Zealous Protestants clash with Catholic converts. Um, uh, uh, no, we don't want that. Germany strikes east. Oh, 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 war. War on this side. That's actually only going to weaken them further. Wait, Gerald L. K. Smith proposes an anti-Catholic bill? What? Wait a minute, hold on, hold on. As a person who is Catholic myself, or raised Catholic, I don't think I really appreciate that. Philip Carroll's possibly positioning himself to run for president to unseat Huey Long in the next election. Furthermore, even though Denver's claim that the unrest in the South can be easily brought into line with some well-placed peacekeeping forces, perhaps combined with applying pressure to convince Charles Coughlin to support the League to help foster better relations between the South and other Christian groups, it might also be in our interest to, if Carroll's influence is growing, to pass anti-Catholic bills. Um, no, 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 get Coughlin on a horn and send some Minutemen. We're going to put that to a stop. We, we don't want to stop and hurt the Catholics. We, 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 we like the guy. I think. Maybe I should have refused help. All right, rebuilding the country. Now it's time for the National Recovery Administration. Yeah, 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 yeah. We need to start trying to fix some of this stuff. The NRA emphasizes the use of the public domain and work living units instead of cutthroat competition. We're gonna help each other, damn it. Catholic and Protestant tensions lowered. A, A, good. Very good. Very nice. Very nice. China breaking apart into war. Again, getting even nastier over here. Oh, and I could still, I've got put back on civilian economy, but I can go up to partial mobilization. So we have that, which will end up giving us a whole bunch of factories to work with. Excellent. Last America standing. That's right. Boost that stability. We want the support. Oh, wait, no, I couldn't. I wasted my political points because I have to demobilize my economy because I have no war support. Oh, great. Wow. Well, listen, we have the Grand Army of the Republic, and this will give us weekly war support, so we will actually need this. Oh, Serbian Army. Or no, Serbian? Siberian. Siberian Army. Now marching west. Okay, here we go. Russian Socialist Republic. Oh, Germany is making some gains. Here it goes. All right, and now for Republic's Work Administration. Go ahead and fix that. We are getting ourselves back on track. And look at all those civvies, which, wait, are we, are we occupying territory? We are. We still don't have all of these as cores. That's why our economy is so low. Oh, the clan wiped out. Excellent. Oh, right. And I forgot down here, all of my militia units, everything that I had recruited is gone. Now it's actually just the base kind of regular troops and garrison forces. Yeah. Luckily, at least we built up a big surplus of equipment to use for things. Hey, we're making people's lives better. Awesome. And we'll have to actually demobilize our economy, but I think we'll then be able to immediately raise the partial mobilization and just repeat this cycle so that we can keep on boosting ourselves. It's really broken at that point. There we go. All right. And we demobilized ourselves. Awesome. Which, oh, wait, now we can't actually go back. Never mind. Uh, we, we are still on civilian economy then. Nothing that we can do about that. Now it's time to take control of education and get ourselves nice and boosted. Wait, Wales capitulated. What is even going on over here? Oh my God, Spain is eating France. What? Um, okay. Well, not, not exactly what I was anticipating, but alrighty then. And Wales, unfortunately, got eaten by Britain again. Oh my God. I realized with all my bonuses that I have towards mechanized right now here, I'm producing a single go back for 2.8 that's it holy crap if we get the higher tier of that upgraded we could have an entire army of mechanized forces no infantry just mech oh baby this could be broken so why don't we go ahead and just start producing as many units as we can because we can always convert these over when we no longer need them and i have a huge surplus in equipment superman versus the clan yeah socialist republic of italy capitulated what huh italy is still divide oh wow what the hell man europe is looking beautiful right now wait 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 wait, wait. seize treachery wealth congress decided with us in condemning those companies that betrayed the american people list of majority shareholders and traders companies have been seized and the executive officers of companies that exploited workers behind the facade of government are now on trial oh wait, wait so we do that or do we do congressional forgiveness which increases stability you know what? i don't need the political power let's take the base stability that seems like a better bet don't worry the companies are not at fault this is america the companies are never at fault all of moscow up oh, yep 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 that's gonna get even worse for him i guess holy Crap, the Russians. The Russians are losing fast. They're getting mopped up. Well, looks like America's gonna be probably fighting Germany at some point then. And the emperor's dead. Wait, I can only rebuild these regions one at a time? And hey, wait, calculating peace conference. Oh, oh, here we go. Black no more. Hey, hey, that's right. We're all American citizens. God dang it, I should have done this one from the very beginning. If I had known that I would have had to click all of these and wait all this time, I would have done this one first so that I would have been able to do things faster. Trial of the Federalist Generals. Um, spare them, 
discharge them, exile them. You know what? We're just going to discharge them. Just remove them. It's fine. They don't need to be removed. And I have plenty of generals to spare, so I, I don't think I need to worry about any of that. But I do want to keep some generals. You know what? We'll, we'll discharge the Pacific ones. The ones that lasted the longest had the most experience, so I'm sure the nationalist and the socialist ones will spare those. Which sounds like a dangerous thing to do, considering the military. Try all the constitutionalists. Yeah, we're going to spare them. That's fine. Ah, the primary elections. Well, you know what? His brother? No, 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 no. It's Huey Long once again, absolutely, with a legendary leader. All of Paris coming to France. That is all dead. Oh, German Empire doing fantastic over here. We're probably going to end up fighting him, to be honest. New election. The AFP wins. That, that's damn right. The America First Party is the only one that matters. And we're going to put the people back to work then. And see this? Speaking of back to work, road projects. Road projects for days. That's all we're doing. We're going to finish all this. America the beautiful. America the land of highways. Trial of weapons companies. Ah, allow them to operate again. It's fine. It's fine. They produce the big booms. Because reconstruction is over and we've done it, boys. After two years of continuous scrounging, we're finally here. Wait, what the hell is going on with the UK? Canada, Germany, Wales. Oh, they're, they're fighting. Oh, wait, we're above war sport. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. That means civilian economy? No, early mobilization. Yes. My friends, that is finished. Now it is time to solidify control and fix all this. Again, we're actually going to be just going through politics here and fixing all of our issues in America. Because, you know, after a very long civil war, I'm going to need to spend the next three to four years before doing anything, just fixing my internal politics. But hey, all spoils to the victors, you know? Ooh, next level armored personnel carrier. That's right. No, no, no. See, see how much we have here? No, 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 no. Watch this. Watch this. Boom. It's only 8.5. Nice and cheap. Production cost 3.5 and that's it, baby. Producing 30 of these a day already. Oh my Lord. London Falls. Hey, okay, okay. Looks like we're seeing some changes over here and we can apply a wealth ceiling. No one's allowed to be that rich. Come on, come on. The extra wealth will be seized and we'll use it to rebuild people's homes. That's right, damn it. Treasury demands capital controls. Okay, uh, limit wealth movement for the rich. Yep, harsh taxation and fees. If the rich try to leave the country, we're taking everything. Uh, now it's time to go and kill all the traders then, I guess. Lovely. Time to break up Standard Oil. That's right. No more monopolies. Everything for the American people, even as the rest of Europe uh, tears itself apart. It's kind of funny from all this. Germany is going to be united into one massive super empire here. When you go and check their industry out and what it is they have, 196 civilian factories, 234. You check our own and our, well, we have a stupid amount of factories. But we're actually relatively behind because of how we lack cores. Wait, Archbishop seeks support. Perceiving long as a useful ally against the clan of the socialists. A lot of Archbishops, so with the Catholics, are trying to get some alliances going. Yeah, you know what? Support the Catholics. I love that idea. Virgil Effinger killed. Oh, no. Wait, no, wait, no. We actually do want that. That was that was one of the crazy guys. And I guess at the same time that all this is happening, we're just digging up fossil boats. We're rebuilding a damn country, man. Come on. Wait, is Germany at peace? They are at peace now. It, it's Oh, no. No, they're not. Oh, no. They're, they're still at war with Russia? I thought that was over. Every man is a king in this country. That's right. That is damn right. What began as a dream that was lifted with a motivational book has now resulted into the grand realization that all of you in America, you are some glorious kings. Get that money bag, king. I'm telling you to rebuild the country. We need to dismantle the Dixiecrats and get the black vote. That's right, people. America's united. There's no place for hate in this world. We will only tolerate the destruction of all of our enemies. That's right. Dallas clan attack wealth. No, no, no. Focus on them now. Get rid of them. I don't want the clan. Old Democrats resist. <laughs> nah, nah, fuck off. Holy crap. Our military factories are going up by like one almost every couple days from the sheer amount of things that we are producing. This is insane. Wait, peace conference is over. German kingdom. Oh, oh, I think it's finally over. What happened? Germany took all of the states. Kingdom of Canada is finally back in charge. Let's see if war breaks out because whatever happens, America is going to come in and clean it all up, I think. Which then leads, of course, now to the second ruse. Would the world please calm down? Japan and Russia, come on. British Empire returns to the Isles. Yay. Canada now cuts ties with the monarchy. And now at the end of the road, we get two options. An imperial presidency in which the paternal autocrats take control of the American first party or we go down social liberalism and really open it up to be the perfect democracy well you know what guys i don't think that democracy is capable of supporting things we need someone who can really take care of the american people huey long for imperial majesty everybody every man is a king but guess what huey long is a freaking emperor the pope has been shot oh no but now for the power of congress huey long has made it clear that he will not leave the white house unless it's in a box signing executive acts that expands his powers 
Congress wants to keep around. Some people think the Congress should still exist, but you know what? No, pass the act. America First Party becomes the ruling party. We're going to take control of everything. And now we're back on the world stage, damn it. Wait, after receiving reports of a possible plan against Huey Long, who would want to kill Huey Long? We've done amazing. The Minutemen want to cancel his speech. No, no, damn it. We're going to give our tour. We are in full control of everything. And congratulations, Huey Long, for taking over the world. Well, America, which is the only thing that matters in the world. We are at 304 civilian factories, 300 mills. Hold on, what is Germany? Oh, baby, baby, America's back on the world stage. Huey Long shot. No, no, damn it, no. Long himself is not expected to survive, causing the nation to be in mourning in an AFP in chaos. No. Shut down the, pro the protests. Stop it all. Long is now dead, our glorious king. Which means that Earl Long is now in charge. His brother will take control. Wait, that was his brother, right? Not his son? I'm pretty sure. I, I don't even remember. We will honor the president at his funeral. We don't want the cacks. We don't want any of this. Russell Long gives the crowd hope again. The son of Huey. The, the true descendant. That That is the guy that I think we're going to shoot for. A statue of Huey? Yeah, a magnificent statue dedicated to his glory and honor. Who are the conspirators in all this? We actually get to choose who it was or at least blame them. It's Smith and Coughlin. They were never loyal. The damn Catholics. I, I, I take it back. The Catholics are evil. Wait, I'm just realizing this on world stage there was an option for a christian takeover of the world oh my god the new treaty of tortillas this looks awesome i love this oh man i i i really wish that we had done something like this too we, we we have to go back and do this in the future guys this looks amazing but it's time for the americanist doctrine justice at last yes oh my god the american economy managed to get down to zero percent consumer goods are you kidding me with 300 civvies to use holy crap man i guess it's time to align the nationalists and get all that prepared so we can actually do something. Wait, that, that's a second republic? Oh, I'm just now realizing I can fully begin to justify. I'm a paternal autocrat. Let's get this going. We're going to fix the world by force, damn it. The future of warfare. Well, we're going to support the rocket, I think. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. America in the German sphere. Wait, wait. <laughs> hey, hey, reach out to Germany. Only together can we crush the syndicalist menace. You know what? Let's do it. Germany agrees. Let's do it. A toast to the Kaiser. Join Middle Europa? Nope, nope. Not doing it. Not doing it. Whoa. Oh, okay. There went a lot of our manpower. Um, we're actually going to need to raise that extensive conscription. Get the men ready because, oh boy, are we going to be using a lot of this as we get our men in. Entire armies of mechanized forces preparing for battle. Wait, that's a Canada declared war on Central America. Why? Why on God's green earth would you do that? Especially when I'm justifying on you. Canada, it's been years. Your time has come. You're going to repay those debts from earlier one way or another. And now my entire army of purely mechanized forces are going to tear into you. They've already lost 93,000 men. You know what? Yeah, yeah. We're calling the allies. Let's get this going. Like, my God, we just blitz right through them. Fourth of July, home of the free. But you know what? The Canadians aren't. They're not free. The Canadian collapse. There it goes. Yes. We're taking it all. Taking it all. Canada's ours. Holy crap. That was like in the span of what? Like three minutes of fighting? Immediately collapsed. Pure mechanized forces sweeping down through the south, destroying everything. Everything, but all of it collapsed just like that. Yeah, that's over. So, all right, Germany, let's go and take over even more. We're sending some help your way. Just a massive string of troops coming across the Atlantic. Let's go. Oh, there we go. America. America is taking it. Giant mechanized army. We have no worry about fuel or anything. We are just producing that much. Holy crap. <laughs> American industry, 230 mechanized per day. King Edward flees the United Kingdom. That's right, because you're gone. You're gone, boy. Woo! There we go. America back in charge in, in, in freaking Britain. Now to send help down to Portugal. Come on, hold on out. The American cavalry is on its way. I'm fast as boy. Can't stop me. Trucks for days. Fall of Madrid. That's right. Here we go. Fall of Gibraltar. Here we go. Come on. Keep on going. Keep on going. We're just sweeping through it like a plague. Every single soldier in here is Mech and I. Oh my God. Kingdom of Spain capitulated. Yes. Goodbye. Goodbye, all of you forces trapped inside this mass. Oh my God. This is such a huge pile of troops. How many are dying in here? Okay. That means uh, only majors left in this are the Dominion of Delhi and the French national state. So here we go. Operation Torch once again. We're going into Africa. Oh, push, 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 push. It's just a tidal wave that can't be stopped. This is insane. The French collapse. There it goes. Y'all remember Liberia? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we're, we're going to kind of fix some of the issues that we had here before and uh, take what I believe is rightfully ours. Oh, okay. There we go. That is gone. Wiped Kingdom of Spain annexed by the American Union State. All of the world will belong to America. So now apparently we have to go over here and invade Tibet for, for freedom, I guess. We're on the road again, once again to India. Oh my God, we are pouring troops in at an alarming rate. Ah, American forces in Southeast Asia. Is there a better combo? I don't think you can name one. Write down in the comment section what you think is a better combo. Hello, India. I heard you have food that makes people's toilets go boom. I also like making things go boom. What a coincidence. Tibet is gone. Oh, man. Oh, man. The Entente collapses. Here it goes. Dominion of Delhi. Oh, wonderful. I need a new source of hot sauce. Fourth of July, let's celebrate with the world conquest. Oh my, when did the Mongolian Khanate do all this? And we we're at war with them and also Japan. God damn it. I guess in order to get to Japan, we have to fight our way through the Mongolian steppe. That's, that's amazing. Second AFP primary, renominate the president to Earl Long. Yeah, it's Earl Long. You know, everybody, that's what we want. The kingdom of Burma never looks so thick. Oh my God. When America and Germany have to team up in order to take down Genghis Khan too. Electric Boogaloo. Holy shit. No, it actually was. It was, it was the one we did before. Hey, that is amazing. Oh my God. I actually have to fight all the way here in Siberia. The monk, how have you not fallen yet? Oh my God, finally. Ah, huh, okay. Well, I guess we need some Siberian ports to launch our strike on Japan then. The Colonel and what? <laughs> <laughs> we developed Kentucky Fried Chicken. What is this game? 1946, America in Japan. The fall of Tokyo. We're moving in. There is quite literally nothing they can do to stop me. In fact, you know what? Hold on, hold on. Let's, let's send over the secondary force. Send them over here as well. We're just going to add to the pile. Don't worry if we lose some mechs. There's, uh, there, 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 there's plenty more where all that came from. Wait, did they just magically spawn divisions for defense? No, 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 no. That's not happening. They did. They just magically spawned them. What the hell? Even really more, more. I'm trying my best here, damn it. And you all are not helping me here. Except for the fact that we caught your entire military in one little, uh, little giant pocket. Okay, well, deal with it. There we go. Come on. No, 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 no. Now you're taking back the other side. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Die. Finally, finally, Japan is gone. And you know what? You know what? I think, I think we deserve it. The Philippines? No, 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 no. Germany, Germany, Germany. The Philippines are rightful American clay. I'm just, no, you're, you're not. You're not. No. No, no, back, back, back. See, see, isn't that a lot prettier in this world? You know, with its, um, uh, b borders, I guess. This is easily probably one of the worst maps that I think that I've ever created in my life. But at this point, war is actually over. It's 1946. We've been playing this for an ungodly amount of time. This video is going to be a monster, a beast. I don't even know how long it's going to be here by the end. But oh my God, that was a lot. I guess that's what happens when you play as America. And we have this like five or six more times over the course of this playthrough. So everyone, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate appreciate all of you. Let me know if there's any ideas on the future playthroughs of what we're going to be doing with A to Z that you'd like to see next or other kind of videos ideas. Anyway, I appreciate all of you watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Thank you, everyone, and goodbye. I, uh, I gotta go stop for a while, for a bit.